वेलकम गाइस टू न्यू एक्स एपिसोड इन प्रीवियस एपिसोड वी हैव सीन लाइक वी हैव इंप्लीमेंटेड इंटरफेस एंड सर्विसेज देन कॉल दैट मेथड फ्रॉम द कंट्रोलर इट सो द इन दिस एपिसोड वी आर जस्ट गोइंग टू मेक इट अ सिंक एंड इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ अवेट एंड एवरीथिंग ओके सो यू माइट रिमेंबर लाइक दिस इज एन इंटरफेस विच वी हैव स्टार्टेड सो दिस इज रिटर्निंग द रिटर्न टाइप यू कैन से इट्स अ सिंपल लिस्ट एंड इट इज हैविंग द सिंपल इंट ओके सो लेट्स क्रिएट अ टास्क Let's complete it. We are in interface. We are just uh, defining the data type, uh, return type of our methods. For this also, we have to wrap it around task. Okay, this is the first thing. We have changed the interface. Then its implementation in the country service. So if you, if you now can see, because we have changed the declaration in the interface, now it is asking us to. It doesn't match. We don't have the matching implementation in the country services. Okay, so for here also, we need to make it task <coughs> async opening closing. Okay, and since this method is going is getting called as an async. If you can see, we will we have got the warning like it should have a await. So wherever we are actually calling the database or anything, so we can make it as an await. Okay. So same if we have added the await, we need to add a sync as well to to list a sync. Okay. So for this, you need to add one namespace. That is entity core. Okay, so this action is is now async with async and await. Okay, so let's add create a second one also. Task. Okay. So since this is an async task, we have to add the await also. So this is a line where our database operation is going to be applied. So instead of save changes now, we just have to add a sync here. Okay. So these are the things we need to take care in the services. Then let's go to controller. Okay. Here also we need to do the same thing. Async and create a task. Love it. Okay. Next thing for the add. Async again task. We just need to store the re response in one variable. So let's do that. Okay, and then we can return the result. Okay, so these are the changes we have to do when we have converted our normal code to the async and await. Okay, so I will refresh the changes. These are the changes we have to do in the interface. We just have to add the task, then what kind of data we are going to send. Like in add country, we are we were returning simple in, so we have wrapped that inside the task. Then in the service implementation, we have added a sync with the task and added await wherever we are performing the database operation. Like here we are fetching data from the database. Like here also we are saving the data to the database. That's why we have added await. Same in country controller also, we have created a thing, then task, and added a await operation. So multiple, suppose like your API is hosted and multiple applications are constantly consuming your API. So multiple operations can be run simultaneously. Otherwise, when, when until one request has been completely processed, no other request will process. So that will create a uh, performance issue. So this is the normal way and every uh, project or every architecture follows this so we have to add the nothing and await 
so the as i mentioned previously like this is everything in our single project only normal with the standard project or we can say enterprise application it will have a library project just to separate out this code like interface will be in a separate library project models will be in a separate library project then service implementation will be somewhere else okay thank you